chaos amid gunfire when violence erupts between two groups in Walnut Hills. Chopper 9 providing the only aerial view of the crime scene. Tonight, we're gathering new information about the 14-year-old victim. Good evening. Nine on your side reporter Amy Wattis is staying on top of all these developments tonight. She is live with what she's learned. Amy? Julie, balloons, flowers, and stuffed animals are a reminder for those who pass by here. What happened at this intersection yesterday afternoon? A 14 year old boy lost his life here to gun violence. Now, tonight, police are no longer calling this crime gang related. This morning, two half brothers have been charged with the teen's death. You're looking at 20 year old Minico Hicks and 18 year old Danielle Walker in court. Police tracked these guys down a short distance from the intersection of Taft Road and Essex in Walnut. Walnut Hills last night where the shooting happened. Three other males were shot here yesterday. They are expected to be okay. One of those three is a 17 year old. Now, police say the shooting started after an altercation took place nearby. Now, a couple of mourners were just here at this makeshift memorial where the shooting happened. And the woman I spoke with says this 14 year old went to Withrow High School and she says he was just simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. He has so many friends and for some reason, he didn't run to his friends. He got out here in the world, and when the world is new, you make bad decisions. Now, police say they are no longer on high alert tonight. They were last night for fear of retaliation, but now that they have these two half-brothers behind bars charged with murder, they say they're not looking for any other suspects, and now these two guys could face additional charges as well. Amy Wattis, Nine on your side, live from Walnut Hills. Sad to see those balloons blowing in that breeze, Amy. A passerby.